Welcome back for a great segment. A vegetarian diet may help you live longer. My doctor even told me that. According to a new study of 70,000 participants, however, vegetarians had a 12% lower risk of death compared to those who regularly eat meat. Uh, Dr. David Samadhi is a member of the Fox News Medical A team. He here, he's here to weigh in on this. Uh, what I found interesting about this study is that this benefits men more than it does women. Well, it's, it is very interesting. And everyone knows that the vegetarian diet is much better than red meat. And I know you like red meat, so we'll talk about this. <laughs> they still don't know why men are metabolizing this a little different than women. But what's interesting is that it's a large-scale 70,000 participants published big. in JAMA, coming from Loma Linda, prestigious institution. So this is so definitely a great news for or all the vegetarians and for some that once in a while we have red meat we should try to convert i've been a huge fan of mediterranean diet it has helped me and i know a lot of people that watch the sunday house call they love this thing so there's a big message over here but the the, the exciting part of this is why it does this happen and what they're digging in and finding out that it's all about the gut flora and gut bacteria when you think about the bacteria in the colon, they can change depending on what you eat. So the whole saying is, that, you know, you are who you are and what you eat has to do with the changes that happens in the colon. This particular study found out that if you eat a lot of red meat, you're going to have these bacteria called bacteroides. If you eat a lot of vegetables, you're going to have this privatella. You want to have lower bacteroides and more privatella. So the bacteria can change depending on what you eat. And this is a very, very interesting findings. We also have said that the changes in bacteria in the gut can translate to lower immune system. You can get Crohn's and colitis. It can affect your cardiovascular breakdown of those carnitine can clog up and cause heart disease and stroke. So um, now we are understanding this better and there's still a lot more research that can be done. So if you're listening to this, convert to vegetarian and healthy food. There's a real big message over here. All right, I'll make you a deal. Is a french fry a vegetable? <laughs> if it is, I'll go all vegetarian. But come on, all vegetables all the time? No, you're right. What's the key word that we always have, like, truly believe in, in this uh, institution? Moderation, Moderation is really the way to go. So if once in a while you're going to have some steak or, or french fries, once in a while it's okay. But I think when you look at your, your, your dish, it has to be colorful. And when you see more fruits and vegetables, that's really healthy. And you know how long it took to change the gut flora? As early as 24 hours, which is really? they find out. Now, what you said about men and women is that maybe our metabolism and the way we break down the food is different than women. So very, very interesting dietary studies. We're excited about it. All right, I'm going to go for the sweet potato fries. They're very colorful. <laughs> you see what I just did for you folks? Enjoy yourself. Just but give me the greens.